Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on VeChain whose current price stands at the 0.01901 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 1.14% and allow me to kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the VeChain chart and also give you the short term and the long term scenarios that I expect to play out and I want to show you an idea of structure that we have here on the daily chart on the VeChain chart and and from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side making it to an all time high at around the 0.28 dollar mark in a movement that I'm terming as a higher edge to have gone to one to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we have been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective movement which has now taken us back to around the 0.017 dollar mark in a movement that I'm terming as a higher edge to have gone to then I'm expecting a wave 3 then a wave 4 before we continue pushing even higher in a wave 5 and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this additive structure that we have right here so that it can give us the long term scenario that we expect to play out in the formation of a second wave which is a corrective wave we expected to see an ABC corrective structure and we are seeing it right there and there are chances that we might have made our bear market low because giving you a measure from the all time high you can see that VeChain is down more than 92% from the all time high and that means there are chances that we might have seen the bear market low and, they are, and very soon I'm expecting expecting uh, that reversal to the upper side in the formation of this higher edge to have count three uh, to the upper side and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.47 dollar mark that is the minimum that I would expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do in the next bull market and that is the long term scenario that I expect to play out here on the VeChain chart and jumping to the one hour chart so that I can give you the short term scenarios that I expect to play out you can see here on the one hour chart that after making our low at around the 0.017 dollar mark uh, VeChain has been seeing a very nice recovery to the upper side in a movement that has been obeying the edu 12 structures and we can have a higher edu 12 count 1 over there which within that higher edu 12 count 1 we are also seeing fractal waves in formation right there and after seeing the formation of that high edu 12 count one whatever we expect next is a corrective movement in the formation of a higher edu 12 count two and i believe we are also seeing such a structure right here having these as the wave two having also this abc corrective movement and after seeing the formation of this high edu 12 count two whatever we expect next is a movement to the upper side which is impulsive in the formation of a higher edu 12 count three and that is the possible scenario that i'm expecting to play out here on the v chain chart and for us to get a confirmation that we're in the formation of this high edu to have gone three to the upper side we need to manage to break above the wave one high which perfectly lies at around the 0.019 dollar mark so the moment v chain manages to break above the area at around the 0.019 dollar mark and continue pushing higher there are chances that we might be in the formation of this high edu to have gone three and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three using the trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.021 dollar mark and for that to play out we also need to manage to break above the key area of support at around that is the key area of resistance at around the 0.02 dollar mark and once we manage to break above that then there are chances and a possibility of managing to fully maximize the formation of that wave 3 before we see a retracement in our wave 4 and then continue pushing higher in our wave 5 to fully maximize the formation of a higher edge to have count 1 to the upper side and we, because a wave 3 to the upper side is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation so in this movement over here I would expect to see such a structure having that as the wave 1 then a wave 2 a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to fully maximize the target area that I have sketched out and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movement will be supported here on the RSI on the RSI we are trading at around the 45 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side also taking a look at the MACD here on the MACD uh, we are unlucky because you can see we have printed a bearish cross and that would mean our prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated 